These skyscrapers that you're seeing is from Ho Chi Minh City, a very important city in Vietnam. And off late, there has been a very big influx of tourists in this country. A lot of people are coming to Vietnam and Vietnam has become the hot destination for tourism. I am here with the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon with very thick tires plastered over it. We are going to go all over the city. In fact, today we'll go for all the city excursions that we think that you should see. And tomorrow and day after, we'll go for city tours. Drive it to the limits, go off city limits. If you're excited about Ho Chi Minh, if you're excited about Vietnam, stick around this video. We'll have some real adventure. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe at this point because it's going to be very exciting. This is a cash economy and the fuel is about 91 rupees a litre. When was the last time you wrote a letter and posted? I don't remember. I'm sure you also don't remember. But this is the post office and you can see these people are writing letters. I don't know where, what, but it's interesting. And that is Mr. Ho Chi Minh. This is the post office. It's quite a picturesque place. I mean, for a post office, this is so busy. Take a look around. Yeah, for a post office, this looks to be very, very, very busy. And people are genuinely writing letters and sending it to people. This is such a nice practice. Look at, look at them. Everybody's writing letters and sending it to their loved ones. And uh, hi, Matt. Are you sending this letter back to your country? Uh, yeah. Are you sending this to back to your country? Yes. You can actually post it. Yeah, right there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Amazing. Where are you from? Australia. Australia. Yeah. Cheers, Matt. Bye bye. India. India. Yeah. <laughs> so, you see, this is so interesting. I mean, this is, I would like to do the same, but uh, let me ask. Excuse me? Can I post it to India? Yeah? Oh, cool. Let me do that. Let's send myself a letter. This is the Independence Palace. If you are a historical buff, if you are in Ho Chi Minh, this place is worth your visit because it's got everything that's got to do with history, the war, how the parliament used to be there, miniatures, how the general used to talk. And it's a beautiful place, nevertheless. But even if you're not a historical buff, then also you should come here just for the, just for the whole culture of it. You get to see a lot of things about the culture of Vietnam. The soldiers were so determined and they fought such severe battle for long. It was ruled by French for a century. Then the Americans bombarded for 20 years. But these people with the grit and determination fought them over with guerrilla water, guerrilla tactics. A lot of ancient technology inside. But the whole thing and the center of place is such a breathtaking place. But if you're not into history, you can also skip it. I always like to see culture. Hence, there's also something very nice inside which I'll show you. While walking in the palace, which is basically a museum, it's a war museum where you can get to see all the dated equipment that they used to do for communication. There's a bunker, the sofa sets where the decisions were made. A beautiful, beautiful place. This is something which you should come here if you fancy history, if you fancy historical things you want to show your kids around. But one thing which caught my fancy is this Jeep. This is the same model, 151A2. It was used by the President Dong Won to deliver a surrender speech as he was broadcasting by the radio. This was on 30th April 1975. One thing which is also very, very cute about this is that the back seat, you know, look at the way you sit. It's, very, it's so nice. Even this design today will still sell very good. If you have, some, if you have a Jeep like that, in fact, you will get a appreciation value. You know, vintage Jeeps, no seat belts because three point safety seat belts were not invented by that time. And now, on the next one. Around 185 kilometers from Ho Chi Minh City, this place called Mui Ni. My pronunciation can be a little here and there, but this is a beach place and what a beautiful beach this is. Look at it. There's this hilltop mountain there and the beach is quite pristine. There are a lot of fisheries who are doing fishing right now. 
and it's kind of clean beach and the roads on the way to this place the roads are beautiful it's actually about 100 kilometers of long stretch road one single one way road and that road is something that i really can't wait to go back but this beach is not the only draw in uh, this place there's also red sand dunes there's also ATV ride that you can do here and I can't wait to take this Wrangler with this thick tires because thick tires are good for sand dunes on the sand dunes drive. Let's go! And this is sand dunes, this is desert. On one side you have the beach, on the second side you have all of this desert. It's actually red in colour and the best part is there are ATV machines which actually you can drive here. It's a lot of fun. It's too much hot right now so the machines have taken a break and I've also taken a break. My machine, however, with these tires can go all the way up, but I have to deflate the air pressure and again add the air pressure, which is going to be a cumbersome process right now. Language is a big barrier to communicate with anybody for anything is a big, big problem. They don't understand English. They don't understand anything. They just understand Vietnamese. If you know or if you're a local guide, you're good. Otherwise, you're better off not to go there. I'm gonna go take a walk and my Jeep will rest here, maybe next time. As you can see, this is a very famous promenade in Ho Chi Minh ceremony. People out in the streets, they're having just fun. This is a normal weekend. Look at the crowd. Everybody is just having a good time. There's a slew of restaurants on your left and right inside. Good shopping. And people are just, this is a proper performance band. People have dressed up and there's a lot of equipment. No, no tickets, no money is being charged. And this is how they celebrate a weekend. It's so nice to be just here, walk. I'm going to do some more walking. Look at this, this statue, they have been there for like this for quite some time and they are just acting the part. They are not actually statues, they are human beings acting as a statue. Look at them. Look at them. Ah, there you go. There you go. He moved away. <laughs> Even the kids are laughing. But it's good fun. And this is the Choo Choo Tunnel. Come, let me show you. This is where you come out from. Yes. Look at this. <laughs> it is very, 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 very shallow. I wonder how you fight and how you come out. Looking at it only, I'm getting scared. I'm not going inside, but if I have to, this is how I step inside. and you just have to be slim enough to go inside and then you come out of that place let me show you that also see that spot there and if you are in Ho Chi Minh you have to come here and this is what you can do in Ho Chi Minh you can fire an AK-47 five bullets cost about three lakhs which is 1500 not too much and this is one experience that I can't wait to fire hello My ears are numb and you can't take out the gun so you can't fire here and there. It's quite safe and what experience is this. And that's what I love about the Wrangler. Five large suitcases, one big bag, five adults and that's the whole of Ho Chi Minh packed into this. Yes, the trip has come to an end and uh, in Vietnamese they say Tam Bai, that means goodbye. If you happen to come to Ho Chi Minh, do try and rent a car because driving around this place is a lot of fun. You can actually go for a lot of excursions for a day. You can also rent a car. You can also grab a taxi because you don't get Uber. Don't forget the cash economy and don't forget to come here because this is a very, very lively city. I never thought that Vietnam 
would have progressed so much but it's my first time and I loved every part of it. I will come back again to another part of the city. I loved everything about the Jeep. This was a good companion. I loved everything, the sway bar, the little lights, the tires and the overall silhouette. This is a very expensive car to rent here. It costs about 1 crore 60 lakhs because this is a CBU and the import duties, I guess, is as much high as in India. This is made in India, so India is not expensive. But while we go to the airport, do you want to see more of uh, night? How the city in the night looks like? Let me show you that. And until we meet again, take care, stay safe, peace out.